and welcome to my Wii review of Star Wars Lego The Complete Saga. Yes, you can play the first three films, which were pretty much stinkers in the cinema, I would say, and the last three films, so from films one to six. But do not worry, the game makers have made the first three films fantastic to play in the game, so they're better to play than they are to actually watch, in my opinion. Now, I played the Lego Indiana Jones game before I played the Lego Star Wars game, so I kind of knew what to expect from it. But basically what you get is all three films, and there's six stages to each film, there's also bonus levels and all that sort of thing, and there's so much to do in this game, you'll be there for absolutely hours. And the other thing I really love about this game is... Um, it's a game that lots of different people seem to enjoy and can pick up really easily. You play it with the nunchuck and the remote and the controls are really, really straightforward and a lot of fun. And you can play, I think it's about 60 different characters and you unlock them while you're playing the game. And you can go back into levels in free play and explore bits of the levels that you couldn't in story mode. So let me explain that to you. Firstly, you have story mode where you go through all the different levels and all the different films and play as suggested characters. But you'll notice when you're going through this, certain bits of the level you can't explore yet. So that's when you go back into free play. Now in free play, you get to explore the levels and you can swap about as different characters and different characters have different things which mean you can go to different bits of the level and they can for instance Jar Jar Binks yes unfortunately you can play as Jar Jar Binks but he can jump very high which is very handy because he can reach ledges that other characters can't reach so you know you, you begin to like him uh, although in the film obviously you want to sort of uh, smack him in the face now the sound is fantastic on this game it's in Dolby surround or indeed ProLogic, and it is brilliant, and it uses the original scores from all the films by John Williams! Hooray! So, some really good music in there, really gets you into the atmosphere, and also the sound effects, like the lightsabers, that kind of thing. It just wouldn't have been the same if they couldn't have used those sound effects, so that's all in there. Graphics are amazing, they're really, really good, considering everything's made out of Lego, it looks brilliant. And the levels are massive, there's so much to explore, so many puzzles to solve, and these mini kits you have to go around and collect. There's so much in there, so once you've played the game through once, there's so many things to go back into the levels and go and find. It's really good, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. And even if you don't like Star Wars, uh, or if you, even if you haven't seen the films, I think you can go in there and have a basic understanding and enjoy the game. Now you can obviously see the gameplay on this video, um, but there's so many levels on there, it was really hard to sort of pick which ones to show you. I mean, there are so many, so I could only pick a few different examples of different levels on there, but I've picked some of the ones that I think look particularly amazing. Although they all look amazing, and um, yes, it's very difficult. And also there's lots of different characters to play as well. Um, trying to show you a little range of the different characters you can play there. My favourite at the moment is Darth Maul, just because he's got a double-ended lightsaber, and that's pretty cool. And you can do all sorts of different moves to kill people. You can use the Force, that's another really important thing. Certain characters can use the Force, and um, things on the level move and change into different shapes and help you across bridges, all that kind of thing. So there's so much in this game, it's really, really good. Comparing this to Indiana Jones, like I said, I played Indi Indiana Jones first. There's a lot more fighting in this one, but then I suppose it is Star Wars, so you are kind of in a war, so that is to be expected. So there's a lot more sort of fighting you have to do in this, which is really good, I think. Um, but if you've played it the other way around like me, you might not be expecting it quite so much. And I suppose if you played this one before Indiana Jones, you might go into Indiana Jones and think, well, there's not much fighting, it's more about solving puzzles. So... This has a good combination. Um, there's also pod races and that kind of thing in this. There's a lot of levels where you, you're not just a character walking around. You're going around flying, shooting things, killing people in other TIE fighters, that kind of thing. Um, they are good. They look fantastic. Um, but the only thing I find about these is sometimes they can be very hard to control or understand what you have to do. And some of them can be quite frustrating because you're sort of flying around in this pod and it's quite easy to crash it into the side. Other people may have mastered this much better than me, just my opinion. I find the control of those quite hard. Now, my wife loves this game, um, and we've—I mean—we've been known to play on this for about four hours, not realizing it, and think, "Oh my God, I haven't done anything today but play on Star Wars." So it's really good. You can have two players in there. Uh, the second player can drop out if they want. 
um, that kind of thing. My only other criticism with this, it didn't happen in Indiana Jones so much. When you're playing two-player, if one of you walks too far, one, say if you both want to go in different directions and haven't sort of discussed where you're going, one player walks that way and the other player wants to walk the other way, one player will sort of be sort of disappeared out of the game and they have to sort of press plus to come back into the game kind of thing. So some of the uh, levels are a bit narrower than Indiana Jones because on Indiana Jones I think you had sort of bigger levels so you could both sort of explore separate bits of the level and not be sort of cut out of the game quite so often. So that's a bit of a frustration, but you get used to it. I mean, you just have to sort of use teamwork. Obviously on one player that isn't a problem, but I do recommend playing it on two player because it's a lot of fun and it's cooperative as well, so you're not playing against each other. But saying that, there are a few uh, little bonus levels on there you can play against each other. They're not that interesting, I must say, but they're there. It's harmless. You know, there's, a, there's one in there you can fight each other. It's all right. It sort of didn't really need to be there, in my opinion. As well as buying and unlocking different characters in the game, you can also buy and unlock special extras on the game. For example, um, you can unlock things like Invincibility, where of course you can play the whole game without being killed, which is really good. And that is another good thing about this. You, you don't actually get killed as such, you don't have lives. It's just if you, if you get shot a certain amount of times, you lose a bit of your money, or Lego studs as they like to call it in this. So um, that's quite good. Uh, you don't sort of die. You can't. You don't have to sort of start all over again. You can keep progressing through the levels. So that's really good. But anyway, you can buy extras like invincibility. There's something uh, like score times two, where it doubles your score if you're particularly saving up to buy a character or another one of these extras. That's really really helpful. And there's lots of other things. There's lots of silly ones as well, like there's um, grappling hooks and you can turn them into daisy chains, that kind of thing. Um, so there's lots, lots of different things to buy in this game, lots of things to explore. And something I particularly like is the game always tells you how much percent of the game you've completed. Obviously, you're reaching 100% and it tells you where you are. So perhaps if you've reached the end or you think it's the end and you're only on like 90%, you know there's another 10% of the game you haven't found yet. So you have to go back and explore that. Great stuff. So in conclusion, my negative points are the pod races can be quite difficult to control um, and there's also some challenge modes you have to do on the levels and they can be really hard and really frustrating. But, you know, on the plus side of the negative, if that makes any sense, there also gives a lot to the game. On the plus side, fantastic music, the score from John Williams, Dolby Surround, which is excellent, crank up your speakers. And you can play this game for literally hours and hours. I don't know many games where you can spend four hours on it continuously and still have, you know, about 20 million hours still left of the game to play. You can spend your life on this game and it takes so long to complete. It's absolutely amazing. I suppose, again, going back to the negative side, I'm sort of mixing my negative and positive up. I'm so sorry. Don't do that on a battery or it will explode. But on negative side, I suppose once you've completed the game, you've done it. And it's a bit of a sad moment because you think, oh, I, you know, I can't sort of play this game again fresh. So that's a shame. But then it looks like Traveller's Tales have made this game are releasing lots of more LEGO games, which I'm quite excited about. They're doing another Indiana Jones one, uh, which includes the latest film and they're also doing Harry Potter years one to four on Lego so that should be quite good so you know perhaps when you've completed the game you can at least buy another one and have a new adventure all again so yes I've sort of mixed myself about there I'm very sorry but um yeah positive side hours and hours of gameplay I've you know I've never known a game that goes on quite as long as this and you can drop out at any point you can save the game at any point. It's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. So I, I've got nothing but good things to say about this game. A few little niggles, like sometimes you get taken out of the game if you're on two-player and one of you wants to walk in one direction. But, you know, if you've got your teamwork going, not a great problem. So, in conclusion then, I give this game a 9 out of 10. Please subscribe to my Wii Reviews. You can do this by visiting my YouTube channel, or indeed, www.davebignall.co.uk slash we.htm. More reviews coming soon.